Sometimes I got the whole thing mostly done, but there's this one place, you know, and I don't know what to do really, or something's, you know, I can't quite figure it out. So I just go on a shopping trip to the thrift store, you know, I'm just looking for something. And sometimes I find something like, just perfect, it's amazing, like, whoa, you know, that truck, yes, you know, or something like that, um, that, 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 that works. But um, I don't know, sometimes, I mean, I do work on these ideas. I really do feel my head heating up sometimes, uh -huh. sitting there trying to figure out, yeah, yeah, okay, this far, not quite, you know. And, yeah. But then you let things sit, mm -hmm. you come back to them, and sometimes, and I usually do figure it out. I mean, yeah. I feel like it's not that I have faith in myself. I mean, sometimes, you know, it's a lot of, like, tension, like, can I really, fin you know, can I really bring this one to, to completion? But I really, I've always been able to. This later stuff, I think, is better, so I'm, maybe it's best that I hadn't shown before, because in a way, I feel like, you know, I reached a certain level here that I hadn't before, and I was sort of proud of that, you know, meaning the politics sort of with the art and it all, I felt kind of really worked as a whole. It wasn't like preaching, I hope. But, you know, maybe it is. Maybe it's not like, just a little. <laughs> I did. All right. <laughs> 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 well, I married my turtle to protect her family. I'm protecting my family. Huh? I have 13 turtles. Yes. I didn't marry them all that day, but you know, it was uh, every day to do this is so very kinetic. Yeah, yeah. Well, see, I was on the show. Her immediate body expression, which are very fascinating. Ah, yeah. Gestures. Right, right. And this is the expression of a very strong primal gesture. It's true, these are also very... Yes. They are primal gestures. Uh -huh. No, I do make absurdity yes. out of yeah. things. I like that because it, it makes you not preachy. I mean, you take an idea, and you just sort of start playing with a political idea, and you don't lose it. But yet, you kind of take it to a different place and it's more like art and it's just more open, you know, yes. and it's, uh, but I, I did, I, that's why I was happy with these, I finally got to doing that, I mean, I, I, all my life I didn't quite feel, I could quite, you know, I finally got to where, oh yeah, I think I'm doing it now. So I made these really as kind of part of performance, I've been in, on this show, Lunatic Fringe, for eight years and I have an hour and a half loop on the TV if someone does turn it on in the morning, or you guys can turn it on and just... Turn on. You know, I didn't have some abstract idea in my head about, oh, something new, spinners. I just thought, oh, I'll just walk in, I'll get your attention. It's like I would go on this show and say, well, here's my mandala, this is the secret of life, you know. And then, you know, of course, the mouth, it, it, it welcomes you. And then, though, here's the global warming, you know, that's what our country's going to look like in a while, right? Not so much of it. Less of it. People struggling, struggling a little bad, but in the middle, I mean, you, even though you might think gross snakes, but it's sort of like, you know, life in the middle. So, so but this doesn't stay up because I'm not an engineer. <laughs> just go like this, go like this, go like this, and then I just say, please open and gent open and gently. Depleted uranium, it's hot. One light, it's sort of like Pinocchio with the screw and the goat and Barbie and I love the spinners, you know, they're bar screw spinners. <laughs> <laughs> But then really, you know, here's the punchline. This is really the porn, which is, you know, the degradation of your body, if you want to talk about being degraded, right? I kept putting up sharks like they're scary, and in the end, really, to me, they have turned into kind of the victim. You know, they are going extinct. So this spins, that's what's really scary, you know, money for love. That's not so good, that's scary. Here's what's really scary, and I'm going to keep this bottle locked. If someone figures out how to open it, you know, okay. You know what I mean? Like, you guys know. But, uh, these are scary. You know, even the Pope, I'm sorry, he has a scary face. I mean, I don't know, that guy, to me. You know what I mean? It's a little scary. Jean Benet, she's really scary with the lipstick. Anyway, I know she's dead. That's, of course, scary as well. And then um, there's inside the stomach of the shark. That might be the scariest thing about the shark. Order on the border. Here's the fence. And I leave it open because really it's too, you know, it doesn't really lock anyway, but this is looking south uh, down in Mexico. And why do we really love Mexico? You know, the nan we love our nannies. We love the, the, you know, the cheap clothing. And we love the meat factories. How to kill, step three steps. If you want to know how to kill, first step, know your enemy. Of course, it's going to be a rat. You know, you couldn't kill him if it weren't, right? And then second step, talk to God. You might have to want to argue with me about this one. But, you know, talking to God is in your head. 
and he'll say he loves you, so that means you kind of re you can do what you you know have to do, and then you win prizes. That's a big part of it, of course. It's happy New Year's, like Happy New Year's, right? Old fear, sugar, candy. But what's the new fear? Oh, genetic modified corn. Two-headed snakes, that's an old fear. You, know, you could worry about two-headed snakes in the old days. But nowadays, of course, the bombers, you know, just dropping bombs wherever. This is called bees in my bonnet. So each one of these is something that gets me upset. Some vague idea of oppression, you know, but it's, uh, I just like to have fun, right, while I'm complaining about life. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I've been doing these little drawings since Sanja was born. These are definitely the older ones, and then the rest are kind of a mixed bag, because I really don't date them, though I do date the books. You know, I know the different books. If you stick around for, what, maybe ten more minutes, I'm going to give two door prizes. So I've had this pump sitting around the house. Of course, the, the milk is a pump, I mean, the, the way the baby gets the milk. And the heart, of course, is the huge, wonderful pump. But this is the, the cellular pump, and I'm not a scientist, so, you know, I hope I got it kind of right. <laughs> With the, the way the you know the transfer of nutrients into the cells right through the cell walls and it's an electrical process uh, and, and why is it inside a tire that's I don't know because my God, I said I was describing it to a, a friend the other day said, well why is it inside a tire and I said. No. These are the different possibilities for change. You can double, which isn't such a great way to change. It's just more of the same. Or mutate, and then that, this sort of bad things. It's not that mutate's bad. We, that's how we came to be who we are, right? And we, we've been mutating for how long since, you know, the beginnings of uh, life. Uh, hatch. And there's like some snakes coming out of an egg, which I think is a good thing. You might think, ooh, but I kind of think that's cool. Evolve. And here too, I guess I give a little cynical angle, like there's our brain, that's what's going to do it. But there's the, uh, that's sort of where we came from and maybe that's where we're going. The whole thing's supposed to spin, it's like a flower, right? Like I say, it's kind of crumpy. I'm sorry, I'm just sort of, you can spin, I don't mind, you know, when I'm not here. But these are just in my little museum. You can come and see, look at my museum. And this one's ultimate recycling. And here the idea was... All the metal war stuff, let's put it all back. Now this is a real spinner, see, like just the metal, you can pick which word. Hell. What's hell? It's Iraq. There's a, you can't maybe tell that's a map of Iraq, okay? And there, there's all the dead people spinning around. Damn, damn is just the money thing and the wealth that, you know, kind of uh, misleads us sort of. And there's a mirror. I'm, try, I'm not trying to be picking on you. You know, <laughs> and then fuck. I love this one because I just someone emailed me this whole lecture about fuck. Like forty ways this guy uses the word in different ways, and his inflection is just perfect. Like fuck. You know those kind, just all the different ways we use this term. So this is really the atom bomb, and that's the fuck. You know, that's that kind of fuck. And it is supposed to look a little like a penis. And then shit. TV, even though I kind of like TV anyway, but TV is shit, and then there's all the shit food. You know, our civilization's sort of falling, you can't tell if you come over here, it's kind of death on that side, and there's the money thing that's leading us, you know, the greed thing that's making us use up our resources so quickly. This was losing social security, not that you could tell, you know, but I mean, it's not, it's not just about the war, it's about how the war is affecting our whole social fabric. And when I had this on the cable show, I was saying that I did want to put something positive, but the other stuff just took over. She's writing a number right. in her hand. I'm, I'm thinking of a number between one and 50. Yeah, and I'll just write, if you want one of these pictures, just shout out a number, I'll write it down, and then I'll tell you who got closest. 23, I heard. 11. 11. 37. So, who said 37? It's a free carrying case. And then, who's the next one for 37? Who's 38? No. All right, you get the one after him, all right? You know, I do these because I really love them, and uh, they're, they're really challenging. They're not always easy, but... Um, it's like, uh, you know, it's always something. It's always some big surprise or, you know, working with the materials or trying to get to the idea. You know, the idea is not always there to begin with. I get a kernel of the idea and then I push it, you know, and I keep figuring it out and keep until finally it does come together. And sometimes they wouldn't come together till the night before the show. I mean, there's some big gap, something missing, and all of a sudden, oh yeah, the, you know, it's really uh, like magic the way that could happen sometimes. So anyway, but um, it, I, I've enjoyed doing them and I'm really proud that I finally get to show them.